Special thanks to Patreon supporter Trenchfighter8 for making this video possible. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft World War 2 video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and do the SDKFZ234 slash 2 for crew of 4. The benches you can see on screen now has a length of nearly 6 meters exactly. Its role is an armored car, and the number built was 478. Uh, armaments include 5.0 centimeter main gun and a 7.92 millimeter machine gun. And you can see right here a V12 diesel engine. Uh, performance at a max speed of 90 kilometers per hour. Anyways, that's it for this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Secure 203 here, bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the SD KFZ 234. More specifically, the SD KFZ 234 2. Uh, this went by the name of Puma, which is what it's more kind of known for, and uh, this uh, vehicle was part of a series of uh, armored cars that was designed and built in Germany during World War II. The vehicles were lightly armored and armed with a 20, 50, or 75 millimeter main gun, uh, and yeah, they were just uh, pretty iconic, I guess you could say. Uh, a lot of people know the Puma. It's a very unique vehicle in the sense that I believe it's the only vehicle in World War II to have eight wheels. Uh, so that's something that's definitely different and uh, interesting. Uh, so I think it's a I think it's a pretty cool vehicle um, and was uh, a pretty fun build and came out uh, pretty good. So uh, anyways, going ahead and um, moving on, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, Trenchfighter8 for making this uh, video possible, this sponsoring this video uh, with his small contribution on Patreon each month. Uh, he basically earns a vehicle of his choosing to be done. So if you are interested in further supporting the channel, feel free to go ahead and check out my Patreon uh, link down in the description and uh, feel free to co contribute to the channel and uh, all that stuff. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle, see what we have going on with it, and uh, just get a nice uh, look at it, overview, and all that fun stuff. So, uh, starting with, off with, uh, we have the main gun. Now, as I mentioned, this is the 232, or sorry, the 234-2, which basically means this is the 50mm uh, millimeter gun variant. Uh, the the uh, 234-1 would be the 20mm, and the 234-3 would be the 75mm. But this one speci specifically is designed to be the uh, 50 millimeter main gun, as you can see right here. It's got also it also has a coaxial uh, machine gun. Uh, we have all the viewports here for the driver's compartment and basically crew quarters all in there. Uh, it has the eight wheels, as I mentioned. Each one you can kind of see the suspension for it and all that stuff, the axles. So that was really cool, nice detailing there, and uh, just a lot of detailing all around it. Uh, pretty happy with the way it came out. Spare tire in the rear here, and also. Uh, some uh, you know cargo on the back there we have the mufflers on either side of it and uh, the turret itself all that fun stuff and uh, it's a pretty much a vehicle uh, very simple uh, you can see also a little bit of cargo strapped onto the sides here like that on both sides uh, but overall it's really cool love the way it came out and hope you guys do as well anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by start off with our first layer layer one Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer 1. Now, for layer 1, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by pretty much getting our wheelbase established and a little bit of uh, axle work. Other than that, that's pretty much all we were going to be doing for this uh, layer. So, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and get started by placing down our, our right front wheel. So, we're just going to place down two narrow brick stairs back to back, pretty simple. Come off this uh, stair back here, so we're going to have our vehicle facing this direction. So we're going to go ahead and go to this stair right here, place down a stone top slab like that. We can go ahead and grab ourselves a place or a block just to visually represent uh, what we're doing here. So we're going to place down a place or a block, skip a space, place down a stone top slab. Then we can delete that place or a block. We can place down a narrow brick stair upside down like this, and then one come off the back of it uh, like so. Oops, my bad. Uh, come off the back of the stair like that. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and then uh, go back one from this uh, narrow brick upside down stair. We're going to place down narrow brick upside down stair with a stair off the back of it, just like we did up here. And same thing over here, just like that going back, narrow brick upside down stair behind it. And we can delete that place or block as well. Uh, we can go ahead and then go to this uh, stair right here, just like we did in the front. We're going to go ahead and go to this second stair back, stone top side on both sides like that, again for our axles. 
Uh, we're then going to skip an air space here. We're going to place down an air, an air break up down stair. One coming off the back of it like so. And uh, pretty much the same thing over here. So you air break up down stair. One right behind it. Just like that. We're then going to go ahead and go to the, the basically the first stair right here. Place down a uh, stone top slab on both sides like that. So you can kind of see we have stuff that looks like this so far. Going ahead and continuing on. We're going to place down a uh, magenta wool block back. We're going to place down an air break up down stair. Followed by another stair directly behind it, like so. And then again, same thing over here, just like this uh, upside down stairs. And then again, so top side on your side on the first stair, uh, like that, basically on both sides there. And uh, we should get something that looks just like this for the real base, uh, pretty simple and um, all that. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our uh, next layer, which is going to be uh, layer uh, two. Alright guys, so going ahead and move on to layer 2. Now for layer 2, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking narrow break stairs. We're just going to place down two stairs back to back on top of these uh, narrow break up down stairs to basically just go ahead and complete the wheels. Uh, so we're going to do this for all eight tires, uh, basically going all the way around. Just like this. Uh, a little bit tedious here, but uh, you know, something we need to do. So we have our wheels, you can see we have a total of eight. Four on each side, just like that. Now, with that finished, uh, we then want to go ahead and go on top of these uh, these uh, stone top slabs. So we're going to go ahead and go to each stone top slab and place down a cobblestone wall on top of them. Uh, just like that, those are pretty much meant to represent the uh, shocks of the vehicle and um, all that. So, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go in between these cobblestone walls in the front here. We're going to place down a polished anisite block like that. Coming off the polished anisite block, we're going to place down a stone brick upstairs stair. Followed by a stone brick top slab on either side, just like that. With that finished, we're going to go ahead and go back from this polished anisite block. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight polished anisite blocks back. Uh, we then want to go ahead and basically go along our polished anisite blocks here. And in these spaces right here in the middle, we're just going to take stone brick top slabs and fill in those spaces. Uh, of course, we're going to skip the spaces where the cobblestone walls are uh, in the place. So we're going to do that uh, long to kind of fill in this. The, uh, middle there uh, on the back here we then want to take our stone top slabs we're going to place down a row of three that goes across just like this when we get to this back section right here we're going to want to go to the left side uh, we're going to go to go to this uh, top slab on this left side here place down a narrow brick up sounds just like this and then another one right behind it uh, like so and then on uh, either side uh, of this uh, of these narrow brick stairs we're going to place down a top slab over here to the left side and then over here to the right side we're going to place down two top slabs out to the side and you can see this is the start here of your spare tire uh, we then want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate opened up coming off these two stone top slabs make sure it's opened up so it looks like it connects up to the top slabs like so uh, we then want to take a stone top slab and in between our wheels here uh, so basically these two wheels here in between them we're going to place down a stone top slab in between these two wheels right here stone top slab go over to this side same thing in between these two wheels and in between these two wheels we're going to place down a top slab just like that in between them and as you can see right now we have a pretty good base set up for the vehicle and our wheels and suspension is pretty much all done and now we're going to start moving into the main kind of par portion of the hall so with that let's move on to layer three all right guys so going ahead and moving on to our next layer we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer uh three for layer three we're going to start off by going to the front up here we're going to go and place down a row of three of polished nanosite on top of these uh the stone brick ups downstairs and stood these two stone brick top steps on either side Coming off those uh, three blocks there, we're going to place down a row of three of upside down stone brick stairs, followed by an end rod on either side, uh, just like that for the front there. With that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab here on the right, on the what would be the left side of the vehicle. Uh, if you guys want to add a little bit of detail, you can throw on this extra kind of cargo strapped onto the side here. Um, which To do this, we're just going to place down a green stain clay block with a sign on the side of it like so. Again, you don't have to do that. It's optional if you don't want to have that on there. You'll just place down your stone brick half slab on both sides there to make the fenders. Uh, but again, it's kind of optional, but it adds a little bit of detail to the build. So up to you guys. Uh, but basically, whatever you choose to do, we want to place down an item frame uh, on either side like this. So on this side, we have it coming off the stone brick half slab. On this side, the green snake weight block. Or if you put the green snake weight block on both sides, come off the green snake weight blocks or come off the stone brick half slabs. Whatever you choose to do. Uh, we're then going to place down a glass block in the item frames, like that for the front headlights. With that complete, we then want to place down a second row of three of polished anisite going across like this, followed by a stone brick upside down stair uh, on both sides. 
With that finished, we're going to take our polished data site. We're going to place down a uh, polished data site block uh, on uh, both sides here. Actually, we're just going to make this a row 5 that goes across, just like this. With that done, we're then going to place down a stone brick upstairs stair on both sides, followed by a row 3 of polished data site in between the stone brick stairs. Coming back from those stone brick stairs, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 uh, stone brick top sabs. Same thing over here, 1, 2, and 3 stone brick top sabs. And we just want to place down some rows of three of polished andesite in between those three stone brick top saps. Uh, with that done, we're then going to place down a stone brick upstairs stair, like this. Same thing over here, followed by a row of three in between the stone brick stairs. After that, we're going to place down a row of five of polished andesite, uh, like that going across. We're going to grab ourselves a trip wire hook and place it down on both ends uh, of that row of five. With that done, we then want to place down a stone brick upstairs stair on both sides, followed by a row of three of polished andesite in between the stone brick stairs. After we have that done, we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite, a regular stone brick stair on both sides, like so. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves a acacia wood plank. We're going to place down an acacia wood plank on both sides, like so, followed by a row of three of polished andesite across uh, the middle in between those blocks, like so. We're also going to grab ourselves a sign, and we're going to place it down on either side of this acacia wood plank, uh, just like that. Now, coming off the... Uh, Basically the sides here, these acacia wood planks toward the back, we're going to place down a um, wither skeleton skull on both sides like that for the uh, tips here of the mufflers. And then uh, to kind of continue the spare tire on the back here, we're going to place down two nether brick stairs facing each basically back to back like that. Uh, so you have a spare tire here, we can kind of see it at a bit of an angle too, so that's what we have going on right there. Uh, we also want to grab ourselves a sandstone top stab. We're going to place down a top stab right here, which will be part of this little detail piece on the back here. You don't have to put it on, of course, but uh, it's just there. Uh, so if you guys want to add it, uh, cool. If not, don't worry about it. But uh, it's going to be a part of this section that we will uh, basically complete in the next layer. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for layer 3. With that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 4. Alright, guys, so moving on to layer 4. For layer 4, what we want to do to get started is we're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of three across the front here up on these tops, or sorry, bottoms of these upside down stairs. We then want to take uh, stone brick slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of stone brick slabs like that across. Uh, going back from this, the center from the center slab, we're going to place down a stone brick slab like this, followed by a stone brick stair like so on either side if it's back facing toward the slab. Uh, with that complete, uh, we actually want to go ahead and actually get rid of that slab in the middle there, my bad. We actually want to replace that with an iron trap door uh, based on the top there in between those stairs to kind of create the driver's viewport. Uh, with that finished, uh, what you can do is you can place down a dark wood slab, come up the stair on both sides. This is kind of, again, a detail piece here. So you don't have to do it. You can just leave it blank uh, for the fenders here just to kind of have that, you know, uh, just a straight off the assembly line kind of look. Uh, but if you want to add the cargo on, you can put down a half slab, kind of do what I did, have a little bit of a very mi very mix there. Uh, but again, it's kind of up to you guys on how you want to set that up. Anyways, uh, continuing on, we're then going to place down an iron trap door uh, on both sides like this, followed by a polished dance site block there in the center and a stone brick top slab on either side of it, just like that to create more of these kind of viewports here. Uh, we then want to place down a row of three of polished dance site in the middle, followed by a stone brick half slab on both sides. We're then going to go ahead and repeat the same thing again, so a row of three of polished dance site and a stone brick half slab on either side. With that done, we're then going to place down a polished data site block in the middle, followed by a stone brick top slab on either side, followed by an iron trap door coming off the half slab, just like that. With that done, we then want to place down a row of three of polished data site across, just like that. On the, uh, basically the right side here, we're going to place down an iron trap door. And for the left side, we're going to place down a redstone repeater. Um, we're going to flip, flip it back a few notches, just like that on the side there. Uh, with that finished, we're going to place down an arrow row 3 of polished andesite across the middle. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves a skeleton skull. And over here on the left side, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. Over here on the right side, we're going to go ahead and just place down an iron trap door. Uh, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves uh, some black wool. Alright, so going ahead and continuing on. Uh, from the center, polished andesite block, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 black wool blocks back. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the right side here. We're going to place down two polished andesite blocks. And coming off these two polished andesite blocks, we're going to place down two stone brick stairs coming down to the side. Over here over on the uh, right side, we're going to place down two stone brick stairs uh, across, just like that. Now, we're going ahead and continuing on. We're going to place down a stone brick stair like this on both sides. So we have a row of three over here and just one stone brick stair at this, uh, on this row like that. 
And then on the back here, we're just going to place down a row of three of stair brick stairs across. So we have a quarter stair on either side and a regular stair there in the middle. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves some sandstone slabs. We're going to place down a row of uh, two. Basically, one on top of the sandstone top side and one on top of this narrow brick stair on the back here. Uh, and then we want to grab ourselves a narrow brick fence post. We're going to place it down on top of this stair uh, on both sides, just like that. Uh, with that finished, uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames and also some tools here. So we'll grab ourselves an item frame <clears throat> and we'll also grab ourselves uh, some iron shovel, an iron shovel and also an iron axe. And on the side here of these uh, two stairs, we can just put down a shovel and an axe. Um, you can always, you know, switch up the tools or maybe add more tools around the vehicle. Uh, but I just chose to put them right here. It's a nice little detail piece and looks really nice, so that's a nice addition you can make to it. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, Layer 5. Alright guys, so we're on to Layer 5. Now for Layer 5, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start off by going to this polished andesite block here in the center. Right after this iron trap door, we're going to place down a polished andesite block on top of it. We then want to take our stone brick top stabs. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, and 4 top stabs coming off that polished andesite block. Actually, my bad. We want to place down a total of 5 uh, top stabs coming off that polished andesite block. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to these first two, the, basically this first slab here uh, that's coming off the polished andesite block. We're going to place down a sign on the near side uh, of that half slab or top slab. Uh, then we're going to go to this uh, top slab on the very end and we're also going to place down signs on the near side of it like that for the muzzle break. Uh, with that done, on the near side of this polished andesite block right here, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall like that. We then want to place down a row of three of polished andesite blocks with a wither skeleton skull on both sides. Uh, we then want to place down a second row of three polished andesite blocks. Continuing on, uh, on the back here we're going to place down a stone brick stair in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall on either side of it, just like that. Uh, and that's going to kind of do it for the turret for this layer. Continuing on to the back, uh, we're going to grab ourselves a stone button. We're going to place down a stone button on this polished andesite block uh, back from the stair right here. We're going to grab ourselves iron trap doors, place down a row of three of iron trap doors across like that. On top of these uh, three black wool blocks, we're going to place down a row of three of uh, rails. Just like that, just regular rails on the back there for the uh, vent over the engine. And uh, lastly, we're just going to grab ourselves some wither skeleton schools and place them down on top of these uh, narrow brick fence posts. Just like that for the back. Uh, with that finished, that's going to do it for layer 5. And with that, we can move on to uh, basically our last five layers. We'll just do layers uh, 6, 7, 8, and 9, putting the antenna on and pretty much the top of the turret. So with that, let's move on to our last final layers. So real quickly before we go ahead and move on to our last final layers, I want to make one quick adjustment. It's something very uh, minor. Uh, we just want to go ahead and go to the right side of our turret right here. We're going to, we're going to break this side and we're actually going to place down a end rod coming off the cobblestone wall right here for the coaxial uh, machine gun. I'm sorry I kind of missed that, uh, but just go ahead and throw that on. Very simple addition, but now we can go ahead and move on to our next layer. So what we want to do for this is we're going to go, ahead and go to this top slab on the very end here of the gun. We're going to place down an iron trap door on top of it. We're then going to go ahead and go to this uh, top slab right here right before the polished andesite full block. We're also going to place down an iron trap door on top of it. We then want to go ahead and go back from this iron trap door. One, two, and three. Stone brick half slabs like that. Uh, coming off of uh, either side of this, this uh, stone brick half slab here on top of these polished andesite blocks, we're going to place down some skeleton schools at about a 45-ish degree angle. Uh, something kind of like that. Make sure they're about roughly the same angle so that they look uh, symmetrical on both sides. Uh, we then want to place down a stone slab like this on both sides as well for the hatches. And then uh, lastly, we're just going to grab ourselves some iron bars. We're going to place down one on top of the stair. And we're just going to build up three more. So we have uh, uh, basically two, three, and four iron bars going up from that stone brick stair just like that. Once you guys have that done, that's going to basically do it for the SD. KFZ 232 slash 2. Uh, hope you guys do enjoy the build. It's a very awesome vehicle, a very unique one. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, I believe it's pretty much the only eight wheeled vehicle of World War II, really. Uh, so I think it's uh, pretty dang awesome. Anyways, hope you guys, again, did enjoy the tutorial. If you guys do, use this sign. I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for this being thing from the sound of the build to a link to my channel or this video if it does appear on any social media sites. As always, you guys give me credit for it. You're free to use it for whatever builds you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.